tripping. Lance, but Christians say all the time, Charlie, I don't want to get involved in politics. I don't care about politics. I just care about the gospel. This is important. Yeah, let's get this straight, people. It's like, okay, you're not into politics. So you're still into morality? <laughs> you get your Bible. Are you into the biblical morality? I mean, there are morals, there are ethics, there are values that we should be teaching. And that we should be a people. You know what Jesus warned? You will be despised and you will be trodden underfoot of men. If you are not salt, if you're not an interesting, engaging, winsome, at times agitating contrast to the, to the world around you, if you don't challenge the culture in an interesting way and get it thinking, they will despise you. They will treat you as though you're irrelevant. And that's part of the reason why I find this, the way that they're, they, they treat us now in the media, these pastors are shepherds. Your job is to protect your flock. You're not doing your job if you're not preparing them to uh, to civically engage and build a wall of protection yes. around the people of faith. You're you're a lousy shepherd if you're not protecting your church. Amen. So then they say, well, there's it's not clear which political party we should support, Lance. It's clearly, and I just had this discussion with a biblical scholar, and I had to, I had to, it actually, it was, actually it wasn't a biblical scholar, it was the BBC. Forgive <laughs> me for this a biblical one. scholar. A, a it's complete, the opposite a, of a biblical scholar. A complete gap in this, in that, in that connection. But it was, I had the same conversation with the Bible scholar okay. and the BBC. Here's what they said. How can you support Trump? They always want to go to the candidate and the smearing tug. Here's what I tell them. I said, let's get it straight, people. It starts with principles. You've got to have a certain bedrock sense of, sense of principles that you believe in. And then from principles comes policies. Mm. Then from policies comes a platform. And then from a platform comes an electable personality. Everybody wants to start with Gavin Newsom looks so photogenic. How, how shallow can you get? You're voting for somebody because you like his hair gel. What kind of a country are we going to have with people like this? You start with the principles. And the pastor has got to lay the principles and then talk about the policies that come out of Christian worldview. And then which party has a platform that reflects the principles of a Christian worldview? Charlie, if we can't get it, that's so simple. It's three steps before you get to the debate about the personality. 